Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this cabin. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add the stairs and then we also add the fireplace and the furniture. And here we're going to continue working on this by focusing on adding the um, kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, component drop down and then click on model in place. We need to go to generate model and then depending on whatever you want the name will be, uh, you could add it here. But for me, I'm just going to leave it as generic model number one. Press OK and then click on extrusion. Once you have the extrusion, it's basically set to level 1. So we could just add it like this. And then I'm just going to click here. I'm going to leave a space for the fridge. Or we could add the fridge at this end. So we could do that as well. So the fridge will be on the on this side. So I'm just leaving some space like that because we're gonna put a case on the fridge. So now here, uh, around 600 will be good enough. So I'm gonna leave it. Actually, 650 would be good. So I'm gonna do a 650 uh, based cabinet. So here, I'm going to change the materials. So most of the time, I put in, let's put ash. Press OK, and then OK. Click Finish. And then I want it to be extruded around, I think, 900 from the floor. After that, I went to 3D, but I'm not clicking on finish yet. Don't click on finish yet, because we need to have the kick plate. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to create, click on void, and then void extrusion. After that, you need to click on set, and then you need to uh, pick a plane. So you're instructing uh, uh, Revit that you want it to be cut on this plane. And then after that, what we need to do is we need to create a cut right here. So we could add in a rectangle like that. So basically, I'm just estimating at the moment. But as you can see, once you estimate, you'll be able to see how how big it is. So I'm just going to do 100. So you need to click here so that it will change on the other side. So 100 by, let's do 70. So I'm happy with that. Click Finish. And then now we need to extend this all the way to the end so that it will cut it. And then you just need to simply click on Cut Geometry under Modify. And as you can see, it disappeared. And you can then click on Finish or you can add in a top. So what I will do is I'm going to click on create again, click on level one, and then click extrusion. I will add in a top for this. So I'm going to click on a rectangle. I could set this to a plane so that I know it will be on uh, at the top. So it will start at the top. And then now I just need to add 
a top like that and then I could just type in a 25 extrusion from the top once you're done you just need to change the material so go to stone and then look for granite top which is this one and then And then I'm happy with that. Click OK and then OK. And then click Finish. Let's look at it. So at, as you can see, 25 millimeters. And then it's it was already set like that. After that, click Finish. And then we have the base cabinet done. What I'm planning to do is I will add the fridge first. So we need to go to level one, insert load family, and then go back to the main. And then after that, go to specialty equipment, domestic, mid range, and then we have some fridge right here. I'm going to use this fridge, click on open, and then type in CM, and then we can add in the fridge right here. As you can see, it's just exact. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to move this downwards. So we still have space. As you can see, there's a lot of space right here, so I'm not con too concerned on what we did so here I'm just gonna move this one as well not a lot and then put it in the middle of the gap and then click here edit type I don't want the, sh the label being shown so I'm just gonna uncheck that click OK and it will disappear now what we could do is we could add in a section so section will help us um, navigate on our um, building the kitchen so this is very useful so here I have our section I'm going to double click on this and it will go to our section if you cannot you can just simply go to section and then do double click it here so basically that's an easy way of doing that after that now we can add in the case for our, our fridge so here we're going to add furniture architecture model in place generic model this will be generic model number two we need to do an extrusion we need to pick a plane which is the back of the wall and then now we need to create a case for this you can just give it a gap and then do an align al to align this after that you need to do another rectangle on the case of this don't worry we need to delete this and then SL so we need to split this and then type in TR to trim this so everything that I do is this is the trim this is the SL which is the split element copy move and then align which is we did AL to align this now um, don't forget to change this and then with this we could just change to uh, maybe a different stone let's use this click apply and then OK and then click finish we need to go to our 3d and then we could just um, extrude it from here as you can see I could just put it like that and then you will have this beautiful case for the fridge 
and then you can click finish we can also move it all the way at the top so that it will look like that because we still have to add our top uh, cabinet as well so we need that space so let's do the top cabinetry so let's go to section again let's save this later on but now go back here model in place generic model and then let's add in an extrusion pick a plane and we're gonna choose this uh, wall and let's add in our cabinets right here we're gonna use EL which is align to align it all the way to the bottom so that everything will be uniform and then here we're going to extrude it from the wall around 500 we can also do that around 450 probably so let's do 450 first and then we'll, you want to make sure to change the material so let's do a wood material let's use one of this and then I'm just checking the distance around 840 will be good and yeah, that will be good and then click finish and then after that don't click finish yet let's do the uh, the top portion there so it's just something that we need to do so that it will look nice um, let's go create another extrusion pick a plane which is this wall again and then we could just add it like that this one will be extruding this more so around 600 i believe and then a different material again so here probably the same stone that we use which is maybe we could use this one click finish and then let's look at it at 3d and then click finish again what I'm planning to do is just extend this one all the way to this space so we could do that much better if we just type in AL click on this wall or extrusion and then click on this extrusion so basically it's copying its uh, extruded part there so now everything looks nice we could just add in our uh, sink here so we could add the sink so let's add the sink by going to level one and then here we could go to insert load family and then go back to our main we have the sink under furniture no it's under plumbing architecture fixtures and then sink we could have a kitchen sink here which will be good enough cm and then let's add it somewhere right here so that we could still see it go here and then as you can see it's somewhere perfectly like that so what we could do is we could just go back to our level one and move it inside there another trick is we could change our transparency so that we could see it much better so as you can see this is good like that and then now what we could do is we need to 
click on we need to edit uh, the bottom base so we need to go here click here and then we need to edit in place and then here we could go click on void extrusion and then we need to go back to level one so that we could see it uh, we could add more transparency so that we could see it much better as you can see and then now we could just set this to level one after we set that we'll be able to just do this and then click on finish don't click finish yet we need to go to our 3d pull it up like that just good enough pull so we could go to our sector so that we could see it better like that we could just pull this one like that as well and then go to our 3d and then keep cut geometry and then here as well we could just click on here and for some reason there we go we could see now the bottom so we did that nicely and then now we're going to continue on the next video for the island so thank you for watching and i hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below